An inauguration ceremony today marked Chickasaw Nation Governor Bill Anatubby's unprecedented ninth term. The ceremony took place at East Central University in Ada, where Governor Anatubby said it has been an honor to serve the Chickasaw people. We will honor that trust and we will continue to improve. With each new endeavor, change, and challenge, we strive for excellence. Together, with your help, we can continue to build an even brighter future for generations to come. First elected as governor in 1987, Governor Anatubby has helped lead the Chickasaw Nation to tremendous growth in diverse and prosperous business operations. In 1987, we set out to develop a sound economy for the Chickasaw Nation, to celebrate a rich heritage, and to safeguard our sovereignty. We've accomplished many of those goals and found new and exciting ways to continue fulfilling our mission. Tribal businesses generate the revenue needed to offer more than 200 vital programs and services to Chickasaw people and create a positive economic impact to the state. We continue to have a firm financial foundation as our businesses strive every day to sustain our mission and enhance the lives of our people. And they will continue to generate the revenue needed to grow the services and programs by reaching new markets, developing new business opportunities, and continuing to concentrate on good stewardship of our resources. O's of office were also taken by Lieutenant Governor-elect Chris Anatubby, Tribal Legislators Derek Pretty, Linda Briggs, Lisa Johnson-Billy, and Beth Alexander, and Supreme Court Justice Mark Colbert. The ceremonies were held at the Adaloa Theater, named for the Chickasaw Hall of Fame member.